Uh, hi. Uh, in my last video, I talked about the uh, vhostnet and uh, uh, word IO net architecture deep dive. And we know the bottleneck is uh, here is the copy from user space and a copy to user space. That's the bottleneck. And uh, we use the big IP as a demo. And uh, here, like uh, we run big IP as a guest, and then I send a node test to the big IP virtual server. Here is the throughput I got. It's like uh, it's close to one gigabit per second. So that's for uh, vhostnet a uh, vert IO net architecture. Uh, yeah, so and uh, the, uh, and again, noticed the 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 vhost uh, net driver runs in the host kernel space in the hypervisor uh, kernel space. So this time we will. I'm going to uh, introduce the uh, OVS DBDK architecture that use a vhost user uh, driver in the in the host user space in the hypervisor uh, user space so for a comparison here is the diagram notice this is a host user space so the QMU process uh, runs in the host user space, and also OVS DBDK also runs in the uh, host user space. And here is the host kernel space. Notice that the the packed processing is no longer processed in the host kernel space, a lot like the vhost uh, net architecture that the the packed processing runs in the host uh, and the hypervisor kernel space. So we now we move all the packed processing to the uh, host user space, uh, and um, so in the QMU process, that's the guest instance. Your your uh, my big IP will run uh, uh, also run a user space. Uh, user space dbdk driver in the uh, guest user space so everything every pack the processing is moved to uh, user space in the guest to the user space and uh, in the host to the user space so this will uh, speed up the pack the processing and uh, again here uh, for the previous uh, vhost net architecture, we only got a one gigabit per second uh, uh, throughput, and uh, so let's do a. So this time I'm going to do a demo with uh, this OVS DBDK uh, vhost user and uh, uh, vert IO net or vert IO PMD net PMD architecture to see how the throughput is. Let's do a quick demo first. Uh, so here is my big IP. Let's see. So I'm using XNet uh, driver for the vert IO PCI device. This XNet is the, the F5 Port of DBDK or Vert IO Net PMD driver. And uh, so I'm going to start my node test. Okay. So you noticed the throughput uh, improved, and uh, it's uh, over three gigabit per second RX throughput. 
right? So it's it's almost like three times better than the uh, vhostnet architecture. And uh, we can also show in the see the throughput three dot one gigabit per second. This is uh, on the big IP. Yeah, so I'm going to do a, um, a deep dive on this uh, vhost user uh, and uh, vertio net PMD architecture and uh, uh, yeah so let's go to our hypervisor the CTL show um, so this is my uh, DBDK port uh, we host the user client port and uh, this is a, a Unix socket created by the uh, QMU process And uh, so, okay, here, this is the, this is the relevant part. Let's take this out. So this, this is a cumul process with a, a lot of argument. So, but this part is part of the uh, a network device definition for the for the vhost user uh, interface. Okay, let's uh, put it in a did I copy it? Okay, I'll copy this whole thing. going to copy the whole thing. Just copy this part. Okay. So Let's, uh, so there is a two part for you to define the uh, vhost user device uh, okay. here is Okay, first you define, uh, uh, like, uh, this is a QMU argument. So when you, like, wanted to look at the QMU, and then you you you, you check here, see, uh, first you define a char depth uh, uh, device, a socket, uh, with ID char net one, and with the pass, this is a QMU, uh, will create this, uh, uh, socket unique socket file under here and uh, the mode is server mode which means the QMU process is the master process uh, we host the user master and uh, the OVS dbdk is the client so here the letter dev 
defines the, the backend. We host the user as a backend uh, device. And then notice that here char dev uh, equal char net car net one. Uh, and uh, it matches this ID. So, and uh, we define two queue here. And again, this is a vert IO PCI, vert IO net uh, PCI device with the features like multi queue on and uh, defined as RX queue size here, TX queue size here, and uh, and the, the PCI bus. Okay. So this is a. This is a. Argument, and you can see from here. From the libvirt. XML. So the deep word XML is just uh, uh, the QMU just translated the deep word XML to its argument. So so it's here is the the we host user interface defined here. And notice that the the source type Unix pass is a uh, slash ten. The same a uh, Unix socket file defined here. The mode is a uh, mode is server, right? And the, the queues defined here, the queue size, right? So it matches the it matches the queue argument. Same pass here. Server. So that that's that's how you define. Uh, and the run big IP on the vehicles the user as back end. Yeah, uh, I think uh, just make it short. Uh, I will talk more in the following series videos and uh, and uh, just to show you the difference uh, the the throughput difference between vehicles and net architecture. And then we host the user architecture. So, so for for any user who wanna get a high throughput, high performance, I would recommend OVS DBDK uh, uh, with the we host the user architecture instead of OVS plain OVS with we host the net architecture. Yeah.